let's unlock a new class of weapon. That is, of course, going to be the Kuva weapon. As we start farming Kuva leches, we're going to go through everything, including fusing weapons together. I'll show you how to work out things like the elemental percentage of bonus that you get. So just in case you don't know what this is, you're following along with this series, and you're like, oh my god, what the hell is this? You can see this really weirdly named weapon over here, which is actually, if you look at the top right, a Kuva Hind. So this is a bonus variant of the Hind, and this gets enhanced stats, a little bit like a prime weapon, and in addition to that, also gets an elemental damage added to it. These are very strong. Some of them are the best weapons in the game. There are a lot of them available. I'll flash a few good examples up on the screen whilst I'm editing, so you can kind of have a look. Of course, this is also a big affinity farm because there's something like 20 odd weapons. It could be a little bit off, but there are, there are a lot of them and all of them are going to be worth affinity. So you will need to get all of them in the end if you want to reach the maximum mastery rank. So just bear that in mind as we're going through the video. I am equipped with Valkyr for a reason. I stripped it down to very basic mods because I feel like it's possible that somebody early on may be facing off against a Kuva Leitch. And so I wanted to show something easy to put together that could deal with it. So we have a couple of Orga mods on here, Constitution, Intensify. So basically all we're targeting is Power, Strength and Duration because we're basically going to use Hysteria. To make this better, you would also get the Perrin Sequence Warcry bonus, which allows you to keep this on every time you get a kill, but I just don't have the standing for that right now. Going down to the Talons, again, very basic. In fact, I'm going to take Condition Overload off just in case people don't have that. And again, this should be perfectly fine for us as we go forward. I'm going to obviously not be using Kuva weapons, this is just for show. Build and set up out of the way. What are the minimum requirements to start finding your Kuva liches around the solar system? To begin this mission then, you will need to have the War Within complete, and that should be enough to start spawning the Kuva liches as well as the Kuva siphons. Now we're actually going to go and do one of these first, because this is actually how we're going to be able to defeat the Lich. Before you start spawning these liches, I highly recommend clearing through at least a few of these because you are 100% going to need these Requiem Relics. These are going to be required to get something that we want in a little bit. We're going to go through this flood here, which is a sabotage. That's kind of annoying. But we're going to go through it anyways. And you're going to progress through this as if it's a usual mission. This is going to be the main difference here, which is the Kuva Siphon. Of course, we have all of the guards and stuff around. To make these damageable, we do need to hit them a few times with the operator's weapon. But be careful, because there is something that we are looking for. In a second, this is, in fact going to start it's going to start sucking something in and we need to shoot the black cloud excuse me cloud excuse me where are you cloud there it is black cloud shoot the black cloud and that destroys one of the arms we need to do that for all four different arms i'll show a second time just in case you didn't quite catch that there we go so there's a black cloud we shoot the black cloud and that takes off the arm. Nice and simple. It's not very obvious, but that is what we do. So I'm going to do the rest of those now. Once that's all done, you'll find that we've had some Kuva given to us. And now all we need to do is finish the rest of the mission. So I'm going to go ahead and reach this reactor and finish the mission out. Just in case it's not completely obvious, the use of Valkyr is revolving around using her fourth ability. So she's permanently invulnerable and just absolutely going around and wrecking all of the enemies. This basically allows us to scale the damage of the weapons because obviously the multiplier for the damage will continue to rise the more that we do melee attacks and the energy that we get from enemies is just going to make it so that it doesn't come off and just basically stops us from taking damage which allows anybody that has the Valkyr Warframe to pass through these missions without too much trouble even if they don't have too much in the way of like high level mods and stuff so I think it is the perfect recommendation for these missions especially if you are struggling. Once we reach the end of this mission in particular we are guaranteed one Requiem Relic. We can get more of them right now but as you can see the rest of these are chance of Requiem Relic, and that chance, I believe, is around 12%. You can go ahead and do these, and probably should. You are going to want to have a few relics so that you can start getting some of the items that are going to allow us to actually defeat the Kuva Lich. Now, we can get some along the way to beating it as well, but I just want to show you guys all of this before we actually start heading on in. So, obviously, I already have a few that I prepared earlier, and if we select this, what we're actually after here... Now, you are going to get tempted by this, because these are actually very, very valuable. We are after all of these symbols here, which will be familiar to you if you've done Kami and Drift, but we need to have all eight of them. Realistically, we want at least one copy of each of these. If you don't, you could get stuck, and it's going to be annoying because the Nemesis 
can steal your stuff, which is a pain in the butt. So once you've had a go, or at least gotten some of those farmed, we use these relics in exactly the same way as we use ordinary relics. Just come on down to the bottom and you should see that you have your Kuva relics right here. If you don't have access to them, it's because you haven't cleared out the Kuva Fortress nodes yet, which is this entity here on my screen. This does actually move around in a circle, so you may need to actually find this before you head on in. Make sure you've got all of the nodes open so that you can begin to farm those relics and get the symbols that we need. We can now move on to actually spawning the Lich. Best place for this, in my experience, is going to be Cassini on Saturn. I could go into all of the stats and mechanics behind this, but this is just a quick mission and it's going to get it done nice and easy. So that's where I'm going to say we all now farm our Kuva Lich. But before we go in, we need to talk about Warframe Progenitors. The Warframe that you take in with you is going to dictate the element or extra element that you get on your Kuva weapon. If we take my Kuva Hind example here, we obviously have Toxin on there. And that's actually because I took Necros in with me. The Warframe that you spawn the Lich with is going to decide what the additional element is going to be on your weapon. This is called the Progenitor Warframe, and each element links to a separate Warframe. What I'll do is I'm going to flash a picture up on the screen. It wasn't me that created it, but I will leave a link to the website if you guys want to go and look this up for yourselves, just in case you want to have it on hand. My personal recommendation is to do Heat or Toxin, mostly because Heat strips armor and toxin can be combined with electricity to also strip so it gives you a lot of flexibility and means that you can do almost anything that you want with the weapon i personally am doing toxin for most of them right now so that's just kind of like my base recommendation is go for toxin or heat i'm leading towards toxin because we can combine it with cold to make viral and that's kind of how i like doing a lot of damage these days so but just bear that in mind i'm obviously going to be switching to necros for the mission Getting the Lich to spawn once we are in mission is much like getting the Juggernaut to spawn on the infested nodes. So we're going to progress forward a little bit so that I can show you what we mean. So I've just captured my little target here. And you see that flashing light? That means kill as much as you possibly can as quickly as you can. Bring an AoE weapon of some kind. So I brought the Excelter with me. And there we have our Kuva Lich waiting for us. Let's go and see what gifts it has for us today. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge. You can see above its head the weapon that it's going to give you. At this point, it is up to you whether or not you want to get your favorite weapon. Like there's a Heck and there's the new core or this kind of stuff. Or if you're just going to take them all and get them as they come on up. Note that this is going to be a long process. You're going to want more than one copy of each weapon if you actually want to use them. I'm going to take this one for right now because that's what the video is about. If you'd like to try for a different weapon, all you need to do is leave the mission without spawning the Lich. Come on back in again and you'll get a different weapon that you can choose from. And you can keep on rolling this until you find a weapon that you want to take. If you leave it too long, it will disappear. So just bear that in mind. And now we're going to extract as normal. And after a quick little message from our new Lich, you should find the Earth is looking a little bit red. And we now now have an optional mission that we can go on. So I'm going to go ahead, slip into something more lethal, and we are going to need to upgrade the Parazon. And we're going to place any three random symbols into these positions up here. It's important that they are in the top and that they are in an order from left to right. Now, as of right now, we do not know which symbols it could be or which order they might be in. We're going to discover that as we go along. But just in case the Nemesis appears early, it's better to have something in here than nothing in here. The uses that we can see are displayed by the red lights will only get used up when we actually defeat the nemesis for the first time. So we don't need to worry about that too much for now. Just put something in there because it's a better shot than not having anything in there at all. And as a reminder, to get them, it is exactly the same as running any other fissure, except for those fissures are going to be these Kuva fissures, and they will take place on the Kuva Fortress. Hopefully I don't need to hold your hand through opening a relic, even if this place is a little higher level. We have Valkyrie. She can do it. So use that to your advantage if you need to. We are going to go ahead and we're going to do this exterminate right here. And as we progress the mission, we're going to find these thralls here. These are going to give us clues. Now, when this pops up in a second, see that Requiem Murmur? You see there's a tiny little bit of ink at the top. That is the meter that we need to build up to get a clue as to what one of the symbols is that we need to use to actually completely defeat. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to progress the mission and capture as many of those as we can. And now 
now when we complete the mission on Earth, we're going to find that we are losing some resources. Luckily, once we actually defeat the Lich, we will be able to recover them, so that's not really an issue. And if we come on back to our menu here, we'll see that Marino is actually cleared up now, so we're not going to be going on that mission again. If I bring up the Nemesis menu, so that's this little icon right here, you can see we're about a quarter of the way around to getting our first clue as to what symbols we need to use. These are the ones that I actually already have equipped, and we can directly modify the powers on right here, so if you do decide you want to change this around, you can do. So right now we're guessing, because there is a small chance that we may directly encounter this person as we're going around. For now it's on indifferent, so it's unlikely, shouldn't really happen, but it could spawn on the next mission, and so it's a good idea just to have some random symbols on, just in case we happen to guess it right. So now I'm going to do the next exterminate, so that we can continue unlocking the clues and increasing the likelihood that we are going to encounter the Lich. So unfortunately for me, on the very next mission, my nemesis did in fact spawn, and so what you can see is we need to knock that set of armor down look and i've got the symbol wrong that's actually going to power her up that's really bad that's terrible if you get it early and so she's actually going to power up now and move on to the next planet before i actually get my first symbol this is bad for me but never mind we'll continue progressing the mission anyway getting as many murmurs as we can there has been a bit of mild look our lich has moved over to mars it's actually going to move around to ceres as well and then even to saturn after that if we don't catch all of the symbols in time however i did manage to finish the mission and it has told me that Vohm is going to be one of the symbols that I need and we know that Vohm isn't first so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to modify where our symbols are and I'm just going to move them like this because I know this can't be first it has to be at least second or third and having any other random symbol at the front is going to be more useful than nothing. You can see that even though I did stab the nemesis one use hasn't actually been taken off yet. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing again we're going to continue chasing it around the system. This time of course heading onto Mars. You choose whichever missions you feel like are most comfortable. I quite like doing exterminates because captures actually get less of the thralls spawning and I want to get more thralls per mission because that way we should run less risk of encountering the Lich when we're not ready to do so even though that completely failed on me a second ago. Mobile defense is also pretty good but a lot of the time I find you generally want a squad for it. Let's go on in. Alright, I got Mega Unlucky again. And my Lich appeared before we had discovered the symbol. And it looks like I was wrong. Yet again, round three, it's going to be... And so at this point, we now know that, and it should tell us in here, the ones that are wrong at the front. So let's go ahead and let's switch up again. And I now need to go and hunt for my Lich on Cerus. You're going to see that the enemies are starting to rise in level, which is why Valkyr is so good for this, because we don't really need to worry too much about the enemy level, because we're just going to chop everything down. All right, so we managed to get the next one which is the snail. I need to make sure that gets put in somewhere. And because we haven't tested that one yet, it might as well be at the front. All right, round three. Oh, we got it. We got one right. So what you'll see is when you actually get the code right, we now have to fight through each layer of the armor. Did we get number two? We did. Now to check out number three. Nope, we've got the third one wrong, so we're going to have to go again. Hopefully, uh, we'll eventually get the correct code by the end of today. And so my Lich has moved to set. After defeating enough of the Thralls and getting enough of the Requiems to get everything unlocked, we can see the three symbols. I already know these are the right two, which means I know that I just need to put on the weird bull looking face Riz onto this end one and I know that the next time we face off against our Lich here we are going to be able to defeat it which is rather useful. So it was the bull face. Now you might be looking at this one here that changes. This is a rare drop from the Lich itself once we defeat it at the end. Obviously this can be any of them so if you want to like rush one of these having some of these around you can use but in general I don't really use them up because they just seem too valuable to me. Although these are tradable you could sell them for platinum now that I think about it. In any case we can now go into a mission and you saw earlier it is just basically the vol fight but on steroids when I think about it is just kind of defeat it take its armor down stab it take its armor down stab it take its armor down stab it shouldn't be too difficult so let's get into a mission and get that done I have to use quite a lot up to get this to the point that we're at eventually with enough encounters you will be able to find all three of the symbols that we need so when I next face off against the lich we should be able to go ahead and defeat it 
now we are finally able to defeat our lich because we know that we have the correct code. So we're going to get in here and then we're going to execute with the Parazon. Number one, get that lovely Coover out of there. Number two and number three. And there you can see it's actually crossed out the uses. So now we need to finish the mission. Now that we have defeated and taken it off of what we call the origin system, it's time for us to head into the Railjack system. I hope you've been following the series because that will ensure your Railjack is more than capable of performing as we need it to. I'm going to switch back to Valkyr. I did cheat a little bit and come into Trinity just because we were going into a defense mission and I wanted to be a little bit more flexible for that because I was going in solo. But Valkyr, as you can see, is enough pretty much with even weak mods to be able to carry you through because I have seen that some people are stuck on the Leich sometimes. We'll be heading to Saturn next then in the Proxima and, and we will now have this new Kuvalich confrontation going in public. You may well get some friends in there to help you just in case you need it. This is basically going to be a railjack exterminate with an assassination element so it's pretty simple Rob's just going to come through here destroy all of the ships that we need to destroy and we'll board the main ship just over that way as you can see with all of the ships cleared then we can go ahead and board the ship and at this point if you have one or need to you can deploy your necromech so I'm noting that these fights can be a good opportunity to get a ton more of the thralls down, which of course will give you more relics for future runs, so don't miss those opportunities. And when you finally defeat your Lich, you'll be faced with two choices. You can kill it with the right hand one, that's going to give you the weapon, or you can convert it and it'll become like an ally or a sellable item. We're going to vanquish here so that we can take the weapon, and then we can extract from the mission as per usual. And then once you get back to your orbiter, you'll find that the weapon that you had is displayed here in your inbox. To get it, you actually need to claim it from the foundry. So mine, for example, is right here. Now, just pay attention to how the name is, because that's how it's going to get That's how it's going to get sorted by us. If you sort by name, it's going to be a C and not the Kuva Kraken, for example. And it's worth noting that we can actually valence these weapons. What that means is that if we... I don't have two identical ones right now, but if we come into this and we look at the stats of the Kuva Kraken, if you do some math on this, now, we can see it on the, on the Leish itself, but as we continue upgrading this we will want to know what percentage this is on. So you want to get yourself a calculator and then you want to add up your physical damage, which is your base damage. So that gives us 43. Then what we want to do is divide 14 by 43. And that gives us our percentage, right? If we times that by, this is a 32.5% Coxin Kuva Kraken. They can go up to 60%. So the way that we continue to improve these is to get another Kuva Kraken. And it can be any element. So you could like just farm Kuva Krakens now with any Warframe. But I don't see why you wouldn't just keep on doing it with Toxin. And if you come into Upgrade here and then into your Actions, whatever your button is, you can see that we have the Valence Fusion. This works exactly the same way as it does with the Railjack parts. So we just keep on putting more Kuva Krakens into this until we have the maxed out Toxin stat which I believe finishes the video. I've shown you guys how to get the Kuva relics. I showed you how to get all of the different symbols we need for the Parazon. I showed you how to create the Lich, hunt down the Lich, and then kill the Lich, and then how to meld the weapons together so that you can enjoy getting yourself all of the awesome weapons and a ton of Kuva. If you are interested in Rivens, this is actually going to be a very good preparation stage for that. So maybe when I get more interested in Rivens, because I tend to not really like the RNG nature of them, them, we will uh, take a look at that later on. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one.